I've been asked a few times now to create a short video of how you tune the Mirage Goldmax pulse induction metal detector when you switch it on. And I guess there's uh, quite a few people out there who've never used a pulse induction metal detector before, so I thought I'd create a short video which explains how I do it. I believe this is the best procedure to get the most detecting depth out of your machine. It's important to understand that a metal detector is a wideband receiver, so it picks up any electromagnetic interference or signals from the targets you detect. They're so sensitive that they even can pick up the Earth's magnetic field when you move the coil and you sweep it. A metal detector can pick up the magnetic flux from the Earth. Um, so you also have a lot of interference from power lines, transformers, those sorts of things often when you're detecting and there's a necessity to try and minimize the impact of all of those. Um, random electrical noise you, you can never get rid of but periodic noise or noise that has a regular pattern to it like 50 Hertz or 60 Hertz electricity uh, you can minimize the impact of that and I'll show you how to do that when setting up the detector. So I've taken the box off the stem of this metal detector just so you can see the um, controls a bit more clearly. I've actually repurposed this box. It was used for a different metal detector. I'm now currently using it for the Gold Max. But to give you an idea of what we need to do, I'll plug in an external speaker. It does have a built-in speaker, but I like the external one it's a little bit louder. I'll just plug that in. And I'll switch the machine on. I'll just turn everything to zero before I switch. Uh, actually, find frequency, adjust, leave midpoint. Gain goes to zero, sample delay zero. And I'll leave the self-adjusting threshold, the SAT, on a maximum of 10. I'll leave volume on a maximum of 10, so I'll just switch it on. It'll be a short tone. Now, the key to setting it up is it's a three-stage process. The first thing you need to do is to adjust the threshold control till you get a tone. And then when you get a tone, wind it back a bit so you can't really hear it. Then the next thing to do is to adjust the gain control so that you can just hear some sound. And I'll turn it up a little bit louder for you so you can hear it. So you can hear a, a beating tone. And that's normal. So to cut the electrical interference out, I now adjust the fine frequency control knob just a little bit at a time until that beating tone you hear disappears. Okay, we've managed to calm it down a little bit. Now the machine's ready to detect. So if I put a coin near the search coil. Okay, so now you're all set and ready to go. Happy dirt fishing.